So we are going to learn how to derive the part from inventor. Now we can see that we are having a part. And if you want to create two cylinder pin on this two hole, so basically I will going to use the share sketch and then extrude to create a pin in between by using new solid. And now this pin will be a separate part. If you look at the solid body, there will be two solid here. I'm going to use the same thing and then create a pin and click new solid and you can see my solid body now I have three solid one it is belongs to the arm another two will be the cylinder and each of them I'm going to check the export object and after that I try to hide it and now basically I have one part but three solid body so I will use manage and make part now you take a look at the solid part we have three and basically you see the green color arrow is show the export and now the export one of the part say this is a small cylinder you got to remember them and then I don't want to open assembly, so I uncheck the assembly. So now I can see that this small pin derived to become an individual part of here. And I'm going to do another one for my bigger pin. And I name it to be a big cylinder. And I also don't want to open assembly. Okay. okay. And now you see that I have another pin, which is a bigger one become an individual part so finally I export the arm so I will just name it an arm and I'm going to open assembly for the part and now this individual part in the assembly file and the big pin and also the small pin or cylinder another individual part so I can basically input them and do the normal assembly in the inventor. So I will go and search the part where I save it. So I place them, the smaller pin, and then also another part, big cylinder. So, I haven't saved the part yet. So now I can place it. Yeah, it's there. So, place them. so I will do the normal assembly. So this is how actually I can derive part. And this basically we call it as a top-down design approach.